Old School Game Reviews is back with a new episode. And this time we have a look at Ice Climber, a game that was requested by Stoyan. Ice Climber is an old arcade style game in which you play an Inuit who has to climb a mountain. Well, okay, sort of a mountain. This block thingy here you see is supposed to be a mountain. Anyway, the basic idea is to get from the bottom to the top. Therefore, the little Inuit has a hammer, which he can use to smash blocks. Of course, he can also use it to knock out the enemies, which basically consists of little birds and these white fluffy thingies. I don't know what it's supposed to be. And so, you're going from level to level, smashing blocks and enemies and climbing from the bottom to the top. That doesn't sound too hard, and actually it ain't. But there is a problem. And this problem is... The goddamn unresponsive fucked up jumping control! It's not that obvious when you just watch a video, but trust me, the controls will drive you insane. Prior to the recording of this video, I spent over an hour to get a hang of these stupid controls. But as you can see here, it still won't work. I pressed right on the D-pad and he didn't jump properly. In fact, the jumping only seems to work every second or third time, and even that only on a random basis. And here I have to ask myself, why? Why did they do that? The game could actually be really funny, but because of these stupid controls, it just ruins everything. Sure, even with decent controls it wouldn't be a gameplay milestone. But it could be fun, for a limited amount of time. However, the programmers thought, oh well, let's ruin the player's experience by putting in bad controls. What fun I'm having trying to get up these platforms, it's unbelievable. It's also not an excuse to say, oh come on, it's an early game, please forgive us. Fuck, no! Donkey Kong, for example, is quite a few years older and he has great controls, so this is no excuse. The controlling problem will even get worse in later stages. The game not only will be unenjoyable, but also nearly unplayable. Well, what else could I say about this game? There's not much content to it. The graphics are okay for its age, the sound and music are decent, only the controls, well, I've said it a couple of times by now. So, to conclude, good idea, bad execution. So time for this game to get what it deserves. If you don't want to torture yourself, stay away from this game. Old School Gamer 82 says over and out, until the next time.